श्री एस मुथ्थू कृपन जी ऑनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन सर आई एक्सप्रेस माय ग्रैटिट्यूड टू आवर बिलव्ड लीडर ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ तमिलनाडु प्रोचि तलेवी अम्मा फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन द डिस्कशन ऑन रेलवे बजट 2016 2017 Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Dr. Purachi Talavi Amma, stated that this budget belied the sense of expectation nursed by many segments of the population with no new trains and no new railway lines. And it was also surprising that no specific projects were announced, including several projects in Tamil Nadu. And also, to help mothers baby foods hot milk and hot water will be made available on stations is welcoming measure <coughs> i should say that the railway ministry has earmarked only 2064 crore for various railway projects in tamil nadu for the financial year of 2016 to 2017 this is just a marginal increase of 22 crore from previous years allocation in the current railway budget for a progressive state like tamil nadu which contributes much to the nation's development for indian railways to become an engine of economic growth all states like tamil nadu should be taken on board honorable railway minister should ask his conscience to prove this point tamil nadu state deserve much more i believe that the honorable railway minister will do enough justification for the people of tamil nadu by fulfilling our long pending genuine railway demands i do hope that with the enhanced capital budget and better project management practices being put in place the railway projects currently under implementation in the state including the double lining of the entire stretch from vilupuram to kanyakumari would be completed speedily the entire stretch from vilupuram to kanyakumari would be completed speedily next the formulation of a national railway plan has been announced in which multi model integration and consultations with the states have been mentioned i do hope that the genuine consultation takes place with the state governments and our concerns are adequately addressed so that all parts of the country including tamil nadu can fully benefit from the indian railways which is truly the infrastructure backbone of india the major stations to be brought under cctv surveillance is really the need of the hour will ensure the safety and security and crucial for assisting police in railway station the launch of rail mitra seva a comprehensive united services including battery operated cars porter services wheelchair etc and 17000 bio toilets and additional toilets in 475 stations before close this year are welcome the proposal of provide train bond entertainment via public audio system through fm radios the installation of a high tech centralized network of 20000 services across 200 2000 stations no as rail display network to enable time flow of information to passengers i welcome the announcement of the first ever rail auto cube to be set up at chennai which would enable the chennai's position as a major manufacturing center not just in india but even internationally i also thank the honorable railway minister for announcing the upgradation of the railway stations at the bilkrim center of nagapattanam at velangani but there are stations at many other important bilkrim centers in tamil nadu including sri rangam and rameswaram such stations should also be taken up for upgradation why are welcoming the announcement of the north south dedicated freight corridor from delhi to chennai both this corridor and the proposed east coast corridor which terminates in vijayawada 
ought to have been extended to Tutukudi because Tutukudi is my nearby district. This would have fulfilled Tamil Nadu's long-standing request to create a Chennai to Tutukurin dedicated freight corridor. In fact, this was one of the three projects that is Chennai to Tutukurin freight corridor, Chennai to Madurai Kanyakumari high-speed passenger link and Koyamuthur to Madurai high-speed passenger link which are included in the vision of 2023 document which is introduced by uh, my leader, Honorable Polachi Telavi Amma for which the government of Tamil Nadu had indicated it's in principle approval to be implemented through an SPV, that is Special Purpose Vehicle. Although the Honorable Railway Minister has mentioned that carrying new structures is out of the three pillars of his budget, I would also involved the doctrine of cooperative federalism in entering into MOUs with the states. It is unfortunate that only a token consultation was held with the states before finalizing the draft memorandum of understanding which lacks charity and a number of key issues. The present structure where 75 percent of the equity and the entire land cost are to be met by the states with all control with the Ministry of Railways is simply unacceptable. Honorable Amma's government, that is the government of Tamil Nadu is prepared to engage with the Ministry of Railways on reworking the classes of Memorandum of Understanding to ensure that a more balanced and acceptable draft emerges which do I recognize the contributions to be made by the state governments. The upgradation of suburban transit system in Mumbai, Delhi and Calcutta have been dealt with in great detail. However, in the case of Chennai, which possibly has the second most patronized suburban transit system after Mumbai. No specific plans for upgradation by the Indian railways themselves have been announced, which is a major omission. I am happy that the railway minister has spared the common person and not levied any increase in the rail fares, which is welcoming measure. The Thirunelveli to my local area, I have to put something to the Honorable Railway Minister. The Thirunelveli to Sabarimala and the Thindukal to Sabarimala, new line need to be surveyed and laid immediately for the benefit of lakhs of pilgrims going to Sabarimala every year through this way. Again, the Thirunelveli's long-standing demand is to be elevated as divisional headquarters. Once again, I have to repeat before the Honorable Minister, the Thirunelveli's long-standing demand Sir, is to be... Yes. Sir, please, Mr. He is speaking. Okay. Sir, once again, I have to repeat before Honorable Railway Minister. The Thirunan Valley, that is my native town, long standing demand is to be elevated as divisional headquarters. The Palayamote railway station should be upgraded with all basic amenities and the boarding print for all and the reservation counter. The Chandur Express, that is Tir Chandur, that is the holy place in the southern district. Chandur Express should have a stop in Palayam Kutai railway station. All the compartments in Nellai Express, from Chennai to Nellai, Nellai to Chennai, Nellai Express are very old and poorly maintained and hygienic. This is maybe taken into consideration by the Honorable Minister. All the southbound trains are highly profitable. I urge the government to provide new modernized coaches. Further, I urge the Railway Minister to halt Nellai Express in, in the first platform of Chennai, Yekmoor, because Yekmoor railway station, enabling railway Thirunelveli people to board the train easily and quickly, it is very difficult to, for old people, especially women passengers, to carry heavy luggages in railway over bridges, because nowadays the Nellai Express is boarded at ninth platform. So that is very difficult to the people to go and uh, take the luggages and the small uh, ladies and other small children also. They are crossing the over, uh, over bridge also. So it is taken into consideration immediately. Again, another point, once again, the railway budget for uh, this year, 2016 to 17, presented 
the Tamil Nadu has certain specific proposals and suggestions for the railway budget, which I am sure the Honorable Minister would be able to consider positively in the vision 2023 of Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, my leader, 2023 document, 10 important railway projects have been included, which are crucial for the development of rail transport and for the development of infrastructure <coughs> projects in the state of Tamil Nadu. I have to mention, mention the project names. Serial number one, complete doubling for Chennai to Kanyagumari Lion. Sirim Paradur number two, Sri Parambudur to Kindi Freight Lion. Chennai to Thutukudi Freight Corridor. High, high speed passenger rail link to Chennai to Madurai to Kanyagumari. Five, high speed passenger rail link to Madurai to Koyambutur. High speed passenger rail link to Koyambutur to Chennai and uh, Chennai to Bangalore high speed rail link and Chennai to Bangalore freight corridor, Abadi to Kurvanjeri rail link, Abadi to Thiruvalluvar Yenur port link. These are all very 10 important uh, uh, projects consisting with the state of Tamil Nadu, Honorable the Government of India, Honorable Railway Minister is here. Please take it into consideration and do the needful the people of Tamil Nadu and uh, the people of Amma. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not really.